Yes, sir. Hello? Speaker. Hey, Landon, you ready? Yeah. Hey, everyone, Josh May, TheRaceSource.com, home of the NASCAR Minute. Landon Castle's here. How are you doing, Landon? Good. How are you doing, Josh? Good. So, how was your dinner? Oh, it was wonderful. I just, uh, we had some Italian food. All right, so correct me if I'm wrong, but I think, aren't you the only driver that is racing full-time in both Nationwide and Cup? Um, as far as I know, that's, that is true. So, um, last time we had you on the show, um, was right after you left the 83 car of BK Racing. And, um, now you're, um, since then you've drove the 33 car and the 40 car. Yeah. So, I know I asked you this last night, but I'm going to ask you again on camera. Um, what is the difference between Hillman Racing and Circle Sport Racing? Um, well, there, there is, Hillman Racing is owned by Mike Hillman, and Circle Sport is owned by Joe Falk. And we're two teams, they're two separate race teams, but they do kind of, we, we work very close together. And um, it almost uh, acts more like like one team, but they are they are certainly two separate race teams. All right, so um um I think we have a I think we have a picture of this. Um, last year, um, it, it was actually a year ago when I saw you at Kentucky Speedway. We talked for a little bit. Yeah, are you coming back out to Kentucky this week? Um, unfortunately, no, but I'll be down to Indianapolis. Oh, awesome. Awesome. Hopefully you can get in the garage. Yeah, I plan on it. Good deal. Alright, so I gotta ask you about, um, um, it was one of the paint schemes that, um, you ran, um, I think last year or this year was that camouflage car. Tell us about that. Yeah, that was a, that was a good car. It got a lot of attention. Um, it's, uh, it's made, it's called Wildfire Camo, um, from Moonshine Attitude Attire. And, uh, and they, that's a camouflage that they put on a lot of their products. And, uh, and it definitely caught a lot of attention. So, um, that's nice. Um, I'm, I remember one joke that, um, they said, um, was, let's try to find Landon Castle's car. Can you see it anywhere? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's definitely an easy, easy joke to be had at that one. So, what do you think of the new Sprint Cup qualifying? Oh, and Nationwide does it too. Um, and do you like it better than the old format? Um, I think it's good for the fans. I think that it's, it provides some excitement. Um, just with group qualifying, I think there's a lot going on. Um, I personally feel like we performed better with the old qualifying format. Um, and it, it was also nice to get that opportunity to have your car on TV, you know, dedicated some 30 seconds of TV time for your sponsors. Um, so, you know, there, there's some pros and cons, but I think, you know, it's obviously the direction that NASCAR went, and so far it sounds like the fans like it. All right, so um, what series are you running for points in? Nationwide series. All right, so speaking of Nationwide series, you're driving for um, JD Motorsports. You started driving for them last year as a teammate to Mike Wallace. Uh, tell us about JD Motorsports. I've interviewed Johnny Davis, I think. Yeah, once. Yeah, I did. Um, and so... Tell us about JD Motorsports. Um, JD Motorsports is a is a good little race team. We're from Gaffney, South Carolina. Uh, they kind of they call us the Gaffney Peach Mafia, <laughs> and we're uh, we work really hard. There's there's a group of guys down there that work their tails off on those cars, and, and Johnny is a is a working owner that really gets his hands dirty in just about anything from spotting to driving the hauler to the racetrack if he has to. So. We've got some good partners with G and K Services and Flex Seal, and um, and some other folks that jump on board throughout the year. And, and you know what? We're we're getting it done right now. We're top, we're tenth in points, and um, and we've got three top ten finishes this year. All right. So here's a question that I wanted to ask you about: um, if you could go back in time and redo one race, what race would you choose and why? Oh man, that's a good question. <laughs> um, man, I don't even know. I don't even know. That's a heck of a good question, Josh. Um, you know, I think this year at Talladega, um, just probably a month ago, 
we were really close to uh, to even to winning the race. And I don't feel like I made the wrong move, but I would like to redo it and just to see if I could make the right move <laughs> again. Uh, we still finished 11th in that race, which was a career best finish and the best finish for Hillman Racing. But uh, but I'd like to redo that one. I'd like to see how much better we can do. All right. So um, since um, when you started in racing, you drove for Dale Earnhardt Jr. at Junior Motorsports, and you were like a development driver for Hendrick. How has that helped you along the way to get where you are now? Um, it's helped me a ton. It's just a great resume builder and 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 got me some incredible experience while I was testing for Jimmy Johnson in the 48 team and just being a part of that team and learning how they operate. Uh, so it was it was a great thing that I've been able to take to to other race teams as as kind of a um, yeah as credibility really. All right, so um a lot of drivers like Kyle Busch and Brad Keselowski they run the nationwide races, but you run both series full time. Um, does, is that is that for experience or, or why do you do go back and forth on some weekends and do both series on the same week? Um, well, the experience definitely helps. Um, it's it's a uh, it, it's just a great thing to be able to be on the racetrack that much. I mean, really, and I just love racing. I mean, I, that's just that's just the best way to put it. Um, I love to race. And I love to be out there, and I love to compete with those guys. You know, we have opportunities in the Nationwide Series to run top ten. And, uh, and that does a really good thing for my career, so I'm taking advantage of it. All right, so last week, um, y'all were at Sonoma for the, yeah? So last week, you were at Road America for the um, Nationwide Series and Sonoma for the Cup Races. Both of those were road courses, so how did Road America um, help you do Sonoma and vice versa? Um, that, that's a good question because it, it helped me a lot just because I'm not, I can humbly admit that I'm not a road course ace by any means. And, and being with the small teams that we're with, we don't go road course testing or anything. So, um, so really my, you know, my first laps on a road course this year was my first lap in practice at Sonoma in a cup car. So, um, to be able to go to Road America in between those, the practice and the race at Sonoma, you know, to be able to go to Road America there and run a full race and to get the feel for road courses, even though the tracks are completely different, helped me out a lot um, going to Sonoma. All right, I got one more question for you. Um, when does, like you're running also other tracks that Nationwide does that Cup does not, is Iowa and Mid-Ohio Sports Car Course, for example. Are you going to be running both races on those weekends as well? I'm planning on it. You know, we're so high up in points right now that, that I don't want to give any give up anything. So um, the goal, as it is right now, is to run all the races, and, and I, I plan to make it happen. All right. Thanks, Landon, for joining us. Stay on the line while I close the show, and I'll talk to you in Indianapolis. No problem. Landon Castle, everybody. Thanks, Landon. Hey, thanks, man. You're doing a great job. Yes, the race